Our family motto is families that play together, stay together. From the moment we met, we always shared a love for skiing. Some of our best moments together were enjoying the mountains and snow. When we started a family, we knew we wanted to share our passion for skiing with our kids. We couldn't get them on the snow fast enough. <laughs> it was awesome. Okay, come to dad. Good girl. But everything changed on Christmas Eve 2010 when a collision took the life of our five-year-old daughter, Elise. We don't share our story to bum you out. We share our story to give hope. In the face of tragedy, we started the Snow Angel Foundation in an effort to educate everyone on how to avoid collisions so everyone can ride another day. The triangle of safety is composed of three elements, speed, space, and self. Speed is perhaps the most important safety factor in skiing and snowboarding. It determines everything. Hitting an object or another person at five miles per hour versus 50 miles per hour will have drastically different outcomes. Always maintain control over your speed and stay within your limits. Go with the flow, especially in congested areas. Slow down when you are unable to see over a roller. I didn't become one of the fastest skiers in the world by chance. It took years and years of training to know my limits and push them safely. Collisions are avoidable and are a direct result of not managing one's speed. This is how I manage my speed when I ski. I'm constantly looking ahead and scanning for other people, objects, rocks, and trees. I'm using this information to throttle my speed to maintain control as I get closer to them. As I enter a steep section, I slow my speed and make sure it's clear to proceed. Lastly, I never try to set a personal speed record while skiing, unless of course it's at the World Cup. Stay safe out there. Maintaining safe space between you and others is critical to avoiding collisions. The downhill skier or rider always has the right of way. It's helpful to think of a bubble of personal space around every skier and rider. You should never pass within this space of another rider. As an adaptive skier, I'm required to look at space just a little bit differently than most people. This is how I think about space when I ski. When I drop, I always make sure to look uphill and yield to oncoming traffic. As I make my way down, I'm anticipating what people in front of me are doing and giving them space. Skiers and riders come in all shapes, sizes, and abilities. We all share the mountain, and it's the responsibility of each of us to give everyone space to have fun. Knowing yourself is perhaps the most important element in safety. At the end of the day, you are responsible for your safety and the safety of others. Accidents happen when we're tired or frustrated. If you're tired, take a break. Protect yourself and other riders by wearing a helmet and making sure your equipment is in good working order. As a professional big mountain skier, I have had the chance to ski in some of the most challenging and dangerous terrain in the world. And for me, I have found to keep myself safe and manage my risk in the mountains, it's all about checking in with myself and where I'm at every single day. Because I can check in and see what's going on with my body, what's going on with my ego, and what all the external pressures are that might be affecting my day then I can manage all those risks and make sure I have a safe day in the mountains. Situational awareness is crucial. You should always be aware of what's happening around you as well as how you are feeling at the current moment. Safety is a collective mission that starts with you. Everybody have a great day? Yeah. Awesome. Guys, look how amazing it is. It's so beautiful. Family high five? Family high five. Right another day! We are so honored to be able to share our love of skiing with our kids. For us, the best way we can honor the memory of Elise is by using our tragedy to educate others and prevent this kind of accident from ever happening again. We want you to ride another day. To join the safety movement, go to snowangelfoundation.org.